In the last video, we introduced the IDs behind the PhD filter, but we didn't actually explain what the probability hypothesis density is. In this video, we define the probability hypothesis density and go through a few basic results. Some of these results are very useful, also beyond developing and understanding the PhD filter. For instance, since they tell us how to approximate a Bernoulli or a multi-Bernoulli random finite set as a Poisson point process. One way to define the PhD of a random finite set, boldface x, for a vector x is as the set integral of the multi-object PDF of the set x times a summation over all the elements x prime in the set x of the Dirac delta function of x minus x prime, where x is the argument in the PhD function. This integral can also be viewed as the expected value of the summation. Written on this form, it's not trivial to build intuition for the PhD function, but roughly speaking, the expected value is large if the multi-object PDF is large for sets boldface x that contain an element at the vector x. It turns out that the above can also be written on this form, where we take the set integral over the multi-object PDF of x for the union of the vector x and the set bold face x. I encourage you to verify that the second integral is identical to the first. It is possible to view the PhD as a first order statistical moment of the random finite set. In some sense, it can therefore be thought of as an extension to random finite sets of the expected value, which is the first order moment for vectors. The PhD is also sometimes referred to as the intensity function of the random finite set, even when the random finite set is not a Poisson RFS. A good way to build intuition for the PhD is to study some of its properties. Perhaps the best example is to integrate the PhD over some subset A of the single object state space. Doing that gives us the expected number of objects in the subset A. We can write this as the expected value of the cardinality of the intersection of the set boldface X and the set A. We can make at least two interesting observations from this. First, taking the product of the PhD and an infinitesimally small region dx gives us the expected number of objects in the region dx. We can therefore think of the PhD as an expected object density. Second, by setting A to the entire state space, we also conclude that the set integral over the entire PhD is the expected number of objects in total. Let us look at how we can use the definition of the PhD to prove this relation. We want to integrate the PhD over some area A. Plugging in the definition of the PhD into the integral, we obtain a double integral over the vectors x in A and the set integral over boldface x. The integrand is the multi-object PDF of x times the summation over the elements x prime in boldface x of the Dirac delta function of x minus x prime. We can now use the fact that the vector x only appears inside the Dirac delta function and push the integral over the vector x into the summation over the elements of boldface x. The integral over the vectors x in the region A now takes the value 1 if x prime is in A and 0 otherwise. By summing that integral over all elements x prime in the set boldface x, we will simply count how many of the elements in the set boldface x that are in A. We can therefore write the result as the cardinality of the intersection between boldface x and A. By recalling that the set integral of the multi-object PDF times a function is the expected value of the function, we obtain the desired result. Namely, that by integrating the PhD over some area A, we obtain the expected number of objects in the area A. It's also interesting to study the PhD for some of the random finite sets that we are already familiar with. For instance, Suppose we have a Bernoulli random finite set with existence probability R and spatial PDF Px of x. The second expression that we gave for the PhD is the set integral of the multi-object PDF of the union of the set boldface x and the set with the vector x. If we plug in the above multi-object PDF into this equation, we note that the only non-zero term is when the set boldface x is empty, since the multi-object PDF is zero for cardinalities greater than one. Evaluating the Bernoulli PDF for a set that contains the vector x gives us r times px of x. We therefore conclude that the PhD of a Bernoulli random finite set is the existence probability r times the spatial PDF px of x. Coming back to the interpretation of the PhD 
as the expected number of elements per unit volume. It makes sense that the PhD is small if either the existence probability R or the spatial PDF is small. It is of course also interesting to consider Poisson point processes in this context. Suppose the random finite set, boldface x, is a Poisson point process with intensity function lambda of x. What is the PhD of the random finite set, boldface x? Not surprisingly, the PhD of a Poisson point process with intensity lambda of x is simply lambda of x. To start with, it would of course be strange to refer to the PhD as the intensity function if it did not coincide with the intensity function when the random finite set is a Poisson point process. You can also view this as a sanity check of what we are trying to do here. Please note that our motivation for computing the PhD of a random finite set is such that we can approximate the random finite set as a Poisson point process and use the PhD of the original random finite set as intensity function. If the original random finite set is already a Poisson point process, the approximation should of course have the same intensity function as the original random finite set, since this means that both random finite sets are Poisson point processes with identical intensity functions. This result simply confirms that using the original intensity function is the best choice of intensity function for the approximating Poisson point process. A final result that will help us express the PhD of both multi Bernoulli and Poisson multi Bernoulli random finite sets is the PhD of the union of random finite sets. Suppose boldface X is the union of capital N independent random finite sets X1 to Xn. The PhD of the random finite set X is then the summation of the PhDs of the random finite sets X1 to Xn. In other words, to get the expected number of objects per unit volume, we sum up the expected number of objects per unit volume in all the different sets. Intuiting both sides of this equation over some area A gives us that the expected number of objects in the area A is the sum over the expected number of objects in all the different sets x1 to xn. It should be noted that this holds under the assumption that the probability that two of the sets contain the same element is zero. One reason that the above result is useful is that it directly gives us the PhD of a multi Bernoulli random finite set. Suppose boldface X is a multi Bernoulli random finite set whose capital N Bernoulli components are parametrized by R1, P1 of X, R2, P2 of X, and so on. Since we know that the PhD of a single Bernoulli process is its existence probability times its spatial PDF, it follows that the PhD of this multi Bernoulli process is the sum over i from 1 to capital N of Ri times Pi of x. It's also simple to generalize this result to Poisson multi Bernoulli random finite sets.